because I first discovered the IIRA when I was asked to do a review of one of the drafts. And I was able to look through it and understand the value immediately it could bring to me because I look after the different architectures, different solution architectures for IoT that we have. And it answered many of the questions that I was asking and trying to find to help our team in what they're doing. Our role, very simply and very elegantly described, is we provide IT for IoT. We provide a trusted, reliable computing environment to allow everybody else to make their contributions, to build their pieces, and to allow them to do the transformations and produce the outcomes from their particular work. So we are an essential and mandatory part of the ecosystem, putting the quality foundations for everybody else to work from. It was nice to go and read another document that talks about how to put together reference architectures for IoT. We'd encountered many problems in trying to understand how to write the reference architecture for IoT, and the IIRA was just a very refreshing document to read because it helped us in what we're doing and didn't bring any particular constraints upon us. It gives us answers to how to define and how to understand the domain, but at the same time it doesn't constrain us in any strange way. So it doesn't force us to obey some strange convention. But beautifully, each time you come to a real solution architecture, it gives you definitions, it gives you structural models that you can start to use that help you to describe different reference architectures for different solutions. One key example of that is the viewpoints. The viewpoints is something that we ourselves have used for a long time because we know that if you build a house, you can't just have a single 2D picture of what a house is, there's lots of views that the architects use about what shape, what form it has to be. And the IRA actually has the same concepts and ideas expressed in beautiful, simple terms, plus it has a set of definitions of many of the terms that we ourselves would have to define if we set about doing it for our own work. Each solution has a different uh, set of solutions and the solution is built differently. But what you need is a core set of standards that you work to and what we have, we use a model and a pattern as the starting point, but the reference architecture gives us the common ground, the common vocabulary, but as I said before, it does not constrain me exactly as to how to build that architecture. It can be built right for the use case. IoT is a very wide subject. Each architectural build is subtly different one to the next. And instead of trying to have the architecture of architectures, we have the guidance now from our model, the right thing built for the solution, and then the IIRA definitions and modeling that it produces that makes the whole result come out easier and cleaner for us.